Hey, my name is Newman, and today I'm going to show you how to shade the Apex skins in Blender that you can import from Apex Legends. So to watch this video, you'll have to have seen the first one. And that is just the general tutorial where I show you how to import the textures and how to apply them and stuff like that. So you um, already can make this by yourself. And now I will show you how to make the animated parts for the Apex skins. So let's just go. So you'll need to mix shaders and you connect it like this and you copy and paste it. So you have two shaders. And you will notice in this folder there is this texture right here and you will connect it and you'll connect that to the emission. Hey, a human here from editing just noticed that I didn't mention that you should also connect it to the emission color, of course, like I told you in the last video, because without it, it just looks, um, it doesn't look like in the game. And yeah, you should also connect it to the emission color. Okay, back to the video. And here you will see factor. And this is the texture we need. set it to non-color and now you can see this is the part here and I think we should also connect this how did that end up over there to the albedo And now you'll see the texture is there, but it's not animated yet. And to animate it, you will have to use keyframes. And keyframes work just like in the animation part of my previous tutorial. And you'll have to add mapping and texture coordinates. You'll connect the UV here and then connect this to those two. And this is just to change the position of the texture. So if you look at this, um, we can change the position. And we'll just add a keyframe here. And then we make it like one. Oh, sorry, we'll have to skip forward a little on the timeline. So let's just go to 200 or something. And then we put it to one, one, and one. Insert keyframes. And now we can play the animation. And you see it's animated. And now you can just loop this or whatever you want. And one other thing that you'll have to do is still setting interpolation mode. So um, you go to animation, you click on this, interpolation mode and linear. So it isn't animated like uh, it starts off slow and then it and slow um, and in between it's fast. Uh, no, like this is actually constant and always at the same speed. And that's exactly what you want for the um, skin here. And we'll end this at 200 and then we'll have a good loop. And yeah, that's basically it. If you have any other requests for textures and um, if you need help with anything, just ask me in the comments. I hope I can reply quickly.